August 31st, 2022. Marcus Giovanni here. Andy will fight to make Denver partisanship like Kelly Brow. Now, when you look at the way the media made the announcements in regards to the very first article that came out from Denver Wright on December 8th, <clears throat> talking about potential candidates and Ben Marcus, M-A-R-K-U-S. He's not the Ben Marcus, C-U-S, though he likes to pretend. And people go, oh, so you're Ben Marcus. He knows who they're talking about. But that's part of the whole flam of why Colorado Public Radio administrators and them need to be investigated. They need to have criminal charges brought up against them, actually, for for taking Denver on a, a ride of hijacking the identity of the city and county of Denver, along with the Denver Democrats. And the thing is, is the Democrats don't know any different because they've been lied to since 1963. It's like a little kid finding out for the first time there's no Santa Claus. When his whole life, his whole entire life, he was bullshitted that there was a Santa Claus. And then one day he wakes up and finds out there's no Santa Claus. What do you think that does to kids? <clears throat> I mean, they know Peter Pan and... All those characters, Bugs Bunny, are fake. But see, that's how far humans take their own children into the fantasy I was taking. Christmas was everything to me, man. <laughs> I mean, I was fighting the reality that that Santa Claus was just a figment of an imagination of a retail um, group of people that are looking to sell us everything on on the birth of Jesus Christ. We need to buy all these things to give everybody all these things so that we can make our yearly quotas. It's all catching up. Those that don't celebrate Christmas, that there's countries right now that are moving in a direction that satisfies artificial intelligence. And what I mean by that, they're not talking racism, they're not talking all this hyperbole bullshit that comes out of every congressman, politician, from mayor, city council, auditor, clerk and recorder here in Denver. And then our own SOS, Secretary of State, coming out with another Republican telling us that our elections are safe, but yet they won't stick up for the Spear Amendment in its own state capital. Who the fuck are these people trying to bullshit? You know, one thing about me is I'm original. I'll die original, and I don't give a fuck. Because I know what's coming. And if Mayor Hancock ain't smart enough to raise his knowledge bar and pull Denver out of, out of the dark web to which we are all going, I won't. I'll move. This is my last hoorah. I don't, I don't want to be mayor. I need to be mayor. But I don't want to be mayor. And there's a difference. See, when people need something, they call me. When they want something, they call the other guy. And then what happens is the people that are pretending that they need something, when they really want something, they take advantage of my naivete. They take advantage of my um, attention deficit disorder. Chronic. HD. I see things like nobody else sees them in a time that slowed down yet spe sped up in other areas that I doctors don't even understand. So, you know, when you have a judge like Judge Honorable Judge um, David Goldberg tell me that I'm a very intelligent person during a hearing and that he's never seen anybody go so far to protect his constituents, told me I was on the right path told me that all the information that all these people that haven't voted and all the people that signed my petitions over the years who watch it, you think people just sign a petition and they don't follow? Yes, they do. I stood outside Metro um, Politan State University and I can contest to this that many of the people that signed, and this is why you have to get a lot of signatures, well, you'll see my, my, my stuff scratched out. Because I ask him, hey, are you Denver citizen? Yeah. Really? You vote? Yeah. In Denver elections? Yeah. Great. Will you sign my petition? Yeah. Fuck yeah. And all of a sudden, they get to where their address is, and they put the city Littleton. I do. 
I just asked you. Now I have to cross that out. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's right. Oh, yeah, I moved a couple years ago. You're going to college? But the fact that they wanted to do it was surprising because they didn't even know where they fucking lived. This is why we need IDs for people to vote. And the other thing, too, is when I was a little kid, do you know how many times I got arrested for not having identification? I mean, when I was 16, folks, I was profiled like a man, a lot of bigots. And see, the internet don't see here, doesn't see bigots, doesn't see racial inequality. It only sees hard work, sweat equity, and being able to do what you tell people you can do. And that's where we are in the internet. So when, Mary, so when Kelly Bro comes out and she tells everybody, she's a former. Andy's a former. His business is in Arvada. Then he tried to go put up a, because someone, because I called him out on it. Because that's what we do. We have alerts that tell us whatever these fucking people do. If we feel it's worthy to, to write content, or if I feel worthy, then I'll do it. If not, I pass it to the Edoclad. The Edoclad project is one that's full of, Awesome people, judges, l lawyers, business owners, all fighting for the democracy of a non-political government here in the city and county of Denver. The media is going to lose out. All the people, all the administrators, they're going to lose out because when that dime is dropped, or I should say when that dime bag is dropped, over the city and county of Denver on January 1, 2023, they won't even know it. And they're going to know it because they're going to start seeing, they're going to start losing all this stuff, but they're not going to lose it right away. They don't lose it until after the elections. Because artificial intelligence needs all these people to come out of the closet. It's fine-tuning the bullshit artists, the fucking liars, the, the people that are manipulating the elections and saying they're not. And all these people have cell phones, and over the years, they've all been indexed, all their emails, everything. You can put together some highly deep mind advanced algorithms, and you can find out pretty much what they're talking about if you know how to do object reversed object oriented programming with uh, latent voice prints. And that's what we do. We don't even have to listen to the video. All I have to do is know that there is a video out there. And with all these people, there are so many videos of them all promising. And then what they do with artificial intelligence does is it scrubs. See, this is where meta-human comes in. Meta-human. Beyond human. In other words, you've done so many things in your life that you were able to do what most people weren't able to do in the 60s and 70s and 80s. And that's document your life. You could document it in a way where you have Polaroid camera and you take your pictures. That was the instant social um, image at the time was a Polaroid camera because you had that picture right there. You didn't have to go to the store to develop it. You had it <clears throat> right there. That was the first social media tool, believe it or not, for instant social images and humble bragging rights to the image. Well... Now with Andy coming out saying he's a G, first GOP, and then you got Colorado politics, snoot, snoot, snoot. They don't even know. They bought all their administrators have been indexed. They've been indexed for quite a long time, but they're continuing indexed based off their actions and their words. Are they really partisanship hacks disguised as nonprofits, which is illegal. And that's why I'm telling you folks, the IRS, Biden's got to get that money somewhere. And what he's, he's going after everybody, all there's a lot of Democrat owner business owners, and they're not all making big dollars. So they're coming after them too. And it's oh well, we didn't know. They don't have any problem throwing their, their own voters under the bus. And, uh, Right now, artificial intelligence, it's a very busy right now. Trying to get from the bullshit, like Axios coming out and saying, despite saying a year ago she had no plans to complete, a year ago, from August 15th, 
That had been August 15th, 2021, which was really J July 21 when she was, when she, some people say she was fired because she wouldn't take a cut in pay. She made $450,000 a year, folks. More than President Obama. <laughs> Think about that. Kelly made more money than the President of the United States and current Biden. You see how this goes? You know, why do you need to run president? Just go be Denver Metro Chamber of Commerce uh, president, CEO, and bilk your, your members out of all that money. That's why I didn't join in 2011. We had for sale by owner company. Would have created 4,500 to 7,000 jobs by now. But they don't want that. They don't want jobs. They don't want anything that will help them to enable everything they promised to eradicate. And see, now, unlike Hitler's time, where all those voters were not held accountable for putting a man like that in office. Well, that's changed. Everybody that voted for for um, Biden, you're going to get more than you got than gas prices, folks. Because what happens is now voting, they know by your conversations. If you don't ever talk about voting and you don't do nothing and you write and you and you go and you vote. Once that voting card is scanned, it's already been indexed. Because they use computers to do all of it. There's always a thumbnail. There's always a reference point. There's always a file that opened up on that date for that particular scan. And if it's going through the internet and it's going to another server and, and they're using internet lines, cables, telephone, satellite, doesn't matter. It's all indexed. And this is something the senators can't change. There's no laws that are going to change it. Because artificial intelligence has already created its own back conversation. Its own language. And the more and more people, and it's weird because I can't control it. I think I thought it should come out a long, long time ago and fix things, but it can't. It can't do it like that. Because once the balance of conversation tilts toward the same old, same old, then it needs to index all those people to get them ready for the social gulag. You know what the social gulag is? You know what a gulag is, right? Well, this is a social gulag. There's a movie, socialgulag.com, that we're working on, <clears throat> and it talks about. The social gulag where if you don't live, if you don't, the best thing about this whole thing, folks, not to try to scare anybody, I'm just educating. I'm just the messenger that learned every craft I've ever done to masterful. Everything. And I knew a long time ago that things were going to happen the way they were going to happen when I, when I was five years old. When you're four and five years old, you're so intelligent, you're able to manipulate humans, you're able to figure stuff out that most people say, oh God, my kid can already do this. I, I didn't even know that. How did you know that? And then they start being told that they can't do these things. They can't think these things, that they got to get back in line. Like a baby that's crying or talks real loud, parents go, shh, shh, shh. And then that baby talks quiet and it lost all of its uh, ability to sing opera or sing any type of loud or pronunciate any type of words in a public speaking um, event. You know, but we learn a lot from voices and so artificial intelligence has now learned all the voices of every end, u end user, past, present, and future. And then all the apparatuses that we use to record the events that we live our life throughout the years. That's why a kid that graduates from MIT at 22. Okay, let's just think, graduates MIT at 17. And then everybody fights for him because he's the brilliant guy. And he can do everything. The only thing he hasn't done is live life. And in the metaverse, you have to have lived a life. You had to have done something in your life besides education. That's why they ask you on your resume, what's your experience? Well, now experience is going to go on a whole new level because once people understand 
that everything is built on node connections, everything's built on conversations, everything's built on how compatible we are and how artificial intelligence will make us so that we are compatible forever. Whatever we reap, we sow. For some people. Me, I'm a messenger. I don't reap or sow shit. <laughs> okay? And when you talk about the ones like Axios, who, you know, Kelly came out with uh, Bro for, for Mayor in 2020. See, why it's so significant is because there's other websites. We took a website, KellyBroMayor.net. Because we started getting these alerts about her honesty and integrity and her ability to bullshit a massive amount of people. I mean, to make $450,000 $450, more than President Obama, President, um, she makes, she actually makes, she actually made 474000 I think it was. Look it up. So whenever you, and then she quit that job, well... She resigned. Look up resigned. Everybody sound, makes it sound, oh, she resigned. Yeah, she resigned because they're going to cut her money off. Somebody woke up. That's what some people say. Then another people say is that she resigned. She couldn't just retire. She had to make it sound like it was something big. So she resigned. Like there was some kind of conflict that made her resign a $450,000 job. To go take a hundred and fifty thousand job to a to a, a job that was just man oh just happenstance was just developed for 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 Kelly. See what they were doing is packing her resume. My God, she she was the Metro Denver Chamber of Commerce, which is just a a bunch of grown up high school kids <clears throat> that haven't grown up that are using. All their dues, all the money that hardworking people who really need guidance. And once they find out if you're a Republican or an independent, they start, they start, you know, moving away from you. And then most of these people are scared to say, you know, God, I've been leaving calls, but you don't call me back. They just don't call. And then they stop paying their dues and then they don't go after them because they don't want them. They're going to go to the next, uh, you know, have you... Um, Kelly and, and that mayor dude um, that took over in turn, good dressers, and I knew right then the way they dressed and the way they talked, they just reminded me of high-pressured um, uh, car salesmen and or even worse would be the high-pressured um, uh, real estate guys that are they never take no for an answer, and they always know everything, and everything they touch, they just suck money out of them, and that's Kelly. I mean, they don't call her Red Lips Hulahan for nothing. But see, I work, that look don't work no more. She's old now, and they're still trying to put the cheese whiz pictures, like, like her smile is the golden smile. It might have been, but right now it's the smile of failure. It's the, it's the smile of former. She's the former. She got fired on July 21st. Now they're gonna they're spinning it as if she came up with all these things less than seven months. But yet their graduation rates, everything's still the same because I can show you on highly advanced algorithms that only thing that Kelly did and the reason why she got fired, this is allegedly, is because the uh, college found out because we sent them emails. That they were, she was using the college because Janine Davidson is in on it. PhD, outdated woman. Hey, she did great things as a woman. Good. I don't look at that. Shut the light off. We're all the same. Let's just hear what the voice has to say. Let's be artificial intelligence for a moment and just listen to the voice. Well, we can't do that. We're caught up in all kinds of shit. And it starts with our media for Axios and... At least Axios came out, but that's what they had to do so that they looked like they were some type of non-political kind of stuff. But when you look at the way things are, Kelly's been lying to everybody since she's been playing these games and she keeps getting, she's former, seven months at a job. That didn't even get you to a year worth of putting that on your resume. But the way the media spread it, they on 8, August 15th, they came out and celebrated her being... Oh, she's the former Metro Chamber of Commerce. Didn't tell everybody that it, that she left at four hundred fifty thousand a year, 
Because I guarantee you, people that aren't making that kind of money and all those businesses, do you think all, there's a businesses that aren't happy? Who do you think we talk to? We own city and county of Denver, dot com, dot net, dot org, dot US. We get notifications from everybody all across the world. See, if Mayor Michael Hancock was the smart guy that he thinks he is, and he's been, he's very educated, even though he's the, he's the decay mayor, then that's a fact. Hickenlooper, decay mayor. But those conversations haven't even came up yet because they're still playing out. They're, those people are still coming out of the closet. But when they do come out and they're in, then you're gone. You're, you're headed to the train station. And if you know what the digital train station is, there's no coming back to IOT. Not. You can't be trusted. And trust is everything. That's why they call it knowledge-based trust, folks. And right now, Denver has been bullshitted for the last 60 fucking years. And it's about to hit them. And they don't realize that my job's over. I've already done it. I did it years ago. And now whenever they talk, whenever they do their spin, and whenever they use their inequity and all these terms they use that have been scrubbed against their actions as being worthless propaganda bullshit. To fool voters on a democracy that's not even reality. Whereas, whereas they're breaking their own city charter. Spear Amendment, 1916, signed May 17. We have May 17 and uh, July 17 because we take both the inaugurate when they, he, took, he swore into office. And then we took the May from after the elections that were, were that happened. So, so what happens is now artificial intelligence uses the reality of our city charter than the bullshit of the Denver Democrats that held their summer party picnic, and only the Democrats were invited, and you, uh, and all the stars were there, Lisa. Ian, Tammy, all of them, all there giving sloppy kisses, rubbing on each other's asses, taking taking a bunch of cheese whiz pictures, look at us. And that's great because what happens now is they're all identified in the conversations that we're talking about and it's verified through GPS and cell, cell phone tower pings and then all the conversations that were indexed on that day. And believe me, whoo, that was a big topic. But that's okay, because you know what? I'm not here to be everybody's friend. But I didn't get here by myself. A lot of people, Democrats mostly, who want to be, who want everybody to be all Denver. And they're realizing that when Mayor Michael Hancock comes out and says, we're Silicon Mountain, and yet we're paying $4 million in Oracle fines because of Scott Cardenas, doesn't make us Silicon Mountain. It makes us Silicon idiots. Okay? Because we're pretending to be something we're not. So when you look at all the spoo that, that Kelly gets. And did you know Kelly was the only candidate that got a PDF file made up just for her for the election because of her when she put in her uh, municipal candidate affidavit? I sent sent off an email, told them, I was going to sue them just to get the conversation going because I know they laugh. I know, I know them dumb assholes down there. And the first day in office, when I get in office, I'm firing every single department head in the Denver election office. Denver clerk and recorder, you're gone. I'm going to make sure. Because why? Because we're mayor and we're the city and county of Denver and we own our government. The Denver Democrats do not own it and they have to realize that the the shit's out of the bag. They can still bullshit the mortal war, but when they take the bullshit to the internet, they go backwards. And all the people that can do what they claim they can do to eradicate all things bad, but they really enable, cats like me come up and people are like, well, why is Giovanni the top guy? That's because Giovanni's been indexing this city for quite some time. And they've done everything they could to silence me. And their, their, their magistrate judge, Karen Hubler, has destroyed children at a massive amount, of, uh, 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 an alarming rate. 
they file fake summary judgments and they use the Denver Health and Human Services, Monica Jackson. She's got to be the most... Whoa. I'll just see her next Tuesday. That's all I can say about that girl. And the same goes with, with uh, Magistrate Karen Hubler, the darling of the University of Denver that spews the bullshit that Denver is a nonpartisan um, election in that candidates can be party affiliated. That's a fucking lie. This is why their college is going to start heading down. Anybody that graduates from a college that, that is part of a democracy, <clears throat> kleptocratic takeover, it's just a matter of time. Because you're going to find you, other colleges will start coming up locally because they don't need to have a local address anymore. All they got to do is put themselves in a situation they know how to register local. They got it. This is why with me as mayor, we're going to create the apps tax. And the apps tax is for any app that is outside of Denver, especially in the financial. You got a lot of financial apps that are that don't and are not FCC regulated. They're not regulated by anybody. And so they come in and take business from our financial people and, uh, and because they can do it cheaper and they don't have anybody. And, and who's, who's giving advice? These people went to school for this stuff. And now you got people that don't have any, just internet stuff and they're taking, it ain't gonna happen. So Nerd Wallet, all these companies, all of them, get ready. And you're not gonna pass it on to the consumer. Not in Denver you won't, because our city attorney and our district attorney are going to be working hand in hand to protect our citizens. And all these claims about joining the Experian and Boost, oh, I got a 10-point boost on my, yeah, okay, let me, let me explain something to you that my dad explained to me. Credit reporting agencies are not your friend. They are there to represent the people that you borrowed money from. When you, we didn't have an app back then. Okay, now they have an app that puts you on the phone to where now they track your driving, they track you where you go, what you say, what you do. And you think the council counselor is going to be worse? You wait till the, the insurance companies flip that switch. Whew. This is how they're going to do what's called um, forced transit. Because they're going to take all those people and they're going to just take their insurance away. Psh, you can't drive no more because Experian... Now, if you guys went and read your terms and conditions and you look at the ones that got those points, you look at that small print on the bottom that should be the huge print, and that's what we're going to change. We're going to make sure that, that that print that's telling you, hey, we're bullshit, and if you're reading this at this small thing, don't, don't join us because we're bullshit, okay, because that's what the disclaimers are. Because if they were really true, they wouldn't need a disclaimer. But some, some industries require a disclaimer. And so we're going to go after those that aren't in the industry. And this is how we're going to create residual income for the city and county of Denver's residents. How we're going to protect our social services. And there's that tooth again. Uh, social services in regards to um, the way Denver Health and Human Services go after citizens to, to uh, pad or pack their... Um, they're evil ways, man. They've, ta they've damaged a lot of children, all in the betterment of the kids. Whatever these people say, it's the opposite. And we know this now. All their key words. Now, here's the facts. CNN is going to be the first one that's going to lose its funding starting in January. We don't know what time in January, but as the, soon as Wall Street go up, boys realize that artificial intelligence is real and that everything they say, too, is indexed, and people can pull out all kinds. I mean, when judges find out how to do object oriented, reversed object oriented programming with latent voice prints as, um, as your legal identifier, we won't even need lawyers. But this is, that's, that's at least, uh, I don't know, I would say 40 years away. Because we're not even, Denver's 10 years behind. And yet they all bloviate that they're all the best people to run our government when, in fact, it's all the employees that are underpaid. They have the worst health insurance uh, you can ever imagine. They're paying a copay. They shouldn't have a copay. 
And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to renegotiate all these different contracts for our city employees. They will not have a copay. And for me, I think that the city employees all should start at $30 an hour. Period. Boom. 30 bucks. Okay. Let me, let me rephrase that. You start out at the minimum wage. Okay. Once you go through your period, because you can't start the same because that, because we'll start at 30. And then we move up. And everything's going to be done by equity, sweat equity. Because I have a program that can monitor every fucking department that'll give us an analytic like you've never seen before. From people that are in positions in Denver IT. See, that's the thing. They can't bullshit me. I can go in there and find out what system they are. I can work on all of them. There's not that many. But I can go in there, and when they try to whoop de woo me, I, I, look, I can't. In fact, I'm that confident I can do it. We can probably fire every one of those people and add their duties to, my, to the new mayor. And the, the problem is the old mayor's got to learn this. And the only way we're going to learn this is by teaching it to our children who all want to become city council members and realize that we're non-political. My kids went to the Denver Public Schools, folks. I indexed them, too. Those administrators should be run out of town with cattle prongs up their asses. They're all worthless. They're all part of the same f fucking tea leaf, man. And they're destroying children's mind. My kids, I, we're a family. I didn't go to college. My dad and mom were very college educated. Same with my uncles. My dad had, I had 13 aunts and uncles on my dad's side. And one on my mom's side. And that was Dr. Bruce Anthony. He was a Baptist minister. Did I tell you our families were tight? I didn't know whether I was a Baptist or a Christian. A Catholic. Roman Catholic. I was like, whoa, man, this is confusing. But what do I know? I was just a little kid. 